Hey guys, it's Saga Boy here. I'm going to be doing the top spring and autumn bands of 2024. So let's get into it. And for the number eight spot, I'm going to put Ike. And, and uh, I know like Ike was in the spot last year, and I thought there there's going to be an improvement for this year. But I think the only improvement there was was you know I would say they probably have the best tuba section. But other than that, as a band as a whole, it, there's still a real bad constant struggle, I feel like, you know, with the lack of tradition songs that are not there anymore, uh, where they are as far as UIL. Um, I don't know, man, like, I just feel like there needs to be heavy improvement. There needs to be major changes when it comes to Ike. Um, but, you, you know, I feel like this is something that, you know, they learn from, um, but, it's really all about trying for them to get better but i don't know we'll see what happens but you know like i said i feel like it's better to just switch the show style complete completely but we'll see um at the number seven spot i gotta put um audine and i know audience is usually good when it comes to uil being consistent every year but as far as stand tunes go there's no real identity there no tradition and I know they had this one assistant director that went to Texas Southern and he's brought in a lot of his own music for Audine for Stan Tunes. But honestly, like, I feel like they could have picked, you know, better songs, like more hype music, you know, like songs like Choppa Style or Big Ball. And, but uh, honestly, as long as Gray's there, I feel like he's going to be the ultimate deciding factor on like what, what they really get to play on. But I don't know, man, like Audine, I, I, there just needs to be something there that needs to improve as far as stand tunes because they legit could be the best band out of all these bands on the list. But I don't know, man, like we'll see what happens. Um, at the number six spot, I got to put Decaney. And with Decaney, um, you know, I feel like they were always high on this list this, these last couple years, but... You know, when you look at this year, I feel like they're kind of sloppy, uh, a little bit messy, disorganized, but overall, they, they were still pretty solid. You know, I still enjoy the band. You know, they still have all the good stand tunes, but I think it, this was just a little bit of a step back here that they could easily improve on the next year. So that's why they're at this spot. Um, at number five, I got put Mac. And with Mac, you know, um, or, you know right here, you know they just need more music i feel like you know they're they're a band that i feel like that is somewhat consistent every year you know that has been kind of solid but as far as like you know stand tunes go you know i think they need to add more songs and i'm a i'm a big tradition guy so you know they play their you know mainly their tradition songs which is like four of them like rap neck sensation espn and they play some fan first. Um, I really do enjoy their drumline cadences, but I, I really think they need to add some more stuff. You know, I feel like they're kind of in that um, same place where Westfield was at not too long ago, a couple years back, where, you know, Westfield was playing just like five, you know, five to six songs. And I think with Mag, it's really more like kind of in that same area, but with four songs. And I really think they need to build that up but songs that refit uh refit into them so i don't know we'll we'll see but i think at the end of the day max still a solid band so i don't know man we'll, we'll see what happens with them next year um at the fourth spot i gotta go with davis and with davis you know i felt like they really improved from last year because you no know, i think with last year they added in all the new music but they just didn't sound right this year, I do think they sound a little bit more better. Um, but ultimately, I, I think with some of their arrangements could use improving on like Juicy, Debo, um, June 27. And I don't know, they didn't really play much BOD this year. I think they only played it like once or twice. Um, I know for sure, I, I think I heard it um, at the Mac game when Mac was playing Neck. Um, but you know that's the other thing they gotta work on too with BOD is like kind of finding that right arrangement for them. Um, but ultimately, I think Davis is still a solid band. You know, I think the show's pretty good though too. Um, 
one of the few, one of the few shows that I really like this year. But yeah, man, um, hope for Davis to continue on to improve. But yeah, man, moving on to third, and for third, I gotta give it to Nimitz. And with Nimitz, you know, I know um, lately I have been having my you know ups and downs with them the last couple of years, but I feel like this year, um, you know, we really, you know, and it and it all things with good terms. Um, but as far as how the band did, you know, they added in you know a bunch of new songs. Um, like not like us and i really do enjoy their arrangement of that i believe i believe last year they had turned the beat up and check and you know this year um they brought in some some pretty cool music too with poison um but like just impressed with their sound man like with the the brass section man they brought back neck which was nice to hear um they were i think i i think i saw a video where they were playing westfield's debo which <laughs> I thought it was pretty interesting, but ultimately, I, I think um, Nimitz is really improving, and I think they're going to continue on to improve each each year. So, yeah, man. Um, moving on to two and two, I gotta go with Spring, and I think Spring was on this list on this on two last year, and Spring, man, I was really impressed with them this year. I mean, I think once I saw them against the game in in the Caney, when they add in Debo, I really feel like that really made them better. Like, I think that really boosts their confidence up. And not to mention their show, man. Like, uh, I think it's called NYC. And with their show, man, it's it's so good. Like, I think that's probably one of the best shows that I've seen in a, in a very long time. And as far as, you know, their stand tunes go, you know, with adding that mix with Down From My Lions with Debo, I think it sounds good, you know. I still like that they play that arrangement of neck, you know, and you can never go wrong with, you know, Painted Black, Uprising, you know, those are stand tunes that I do enjoy. And, um, what they added, oh, you know, I think they added in Shout Out, which, you know, that's a, that's the classic one right there. But I feel like with Spring, they're, they're always somehow getting better every year. So, you know, I hope to see how they do next year. And for the number one spot, I gotta go with Westfield and with Westfield man I I think these last couple of years they were kind of in that you know where Mac is where it's kind of like um you know not really too much music there but this year they got new directors and they added in a ton of new songs you know they added not like us um Chapa style I think they brought back Studden too um there is this one song that I I did miss out on uh, I think it's like this is the way we ball mixed with hay but I remember hearing that on like a live stream and I thought it sounded pretty good man and you know Westville I feel like just their overall sound just like their style their style let alone is really impressive and I think it was, it was a major improvement in it. and that's interesting because you know it's a whole new director you know whole new staff right there and I think this is only the beginning of something special for Westfield. And with Westfield being the top band, you know, I do plan on recording them on their playoff game um, whenever that is, I think. It should be Friday against um, College Park. Um, I think it should be at Planet Fort. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, guys, this is my list. Westfield at number one. You know, let me know what y'all think. But yeah, man, peace. Oh!